I know yesterday you had said uh, in your press conference that you couldn't confirm or say if any of the players had opted out for the season. Were you able to get confirmation if you could reveal that information today? Uh, no, I didn't really try that hard, to be honest with you. I was kind of concentrated on the guys that are here. Um, but uh, that's where we're at with that. All right, Theo, go ahead. Hey, Nick, uh, yesterday when you were talking about uh, Cam and Cooper, you said everyone's got a little bit different personality, and that's okay. Can you kind of expand on what you meant by that, talking about his, his personality and maybe leadership style? Or um, I just am a firm believer that different quarterbacks can be successful. And now there's some common things we want, strong leadership, uh, extreme care, um, good interpersonal relationships with the receivers, especially in the offensive line. Um, I guess I know I know there's personality qualities that that is probably the emphasis of your question, but I just think the offense leads to the ability to it, everyone doesn't have to be the same. Some guys will like different throws, some guys will like different concepts. Um, but I also don't try to I'll try to improve. Uh, certain qualities of people's personality, but um, some people are just wired a certain way, and and that's not able to be changed a whole lot. I think that's where coaching needs to come in and, and learn how to coach the guys the way that works best for them. Um, Cam, Cam, Cam has obviously been here for two years, and Gunner's been here for one year. Um, can you tell both of those guys already have, kind of have their respective teammates and is that something that Jaden's trying to build? Can you turn it up a little bit? That some Can you repeat that again, Theo? Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Can you tell that Cam, can you tell that Cam Cooper and Gunnar Cruz already kind of have the respect of their teammates ha having been here? Is that something that Jaden's trying to kind of build right now as, as as being a freshman quarterback? Well, I'm sure there's there's development in that area for Jaden for sure. Um, I don't necessarily think that's terribly high on his to-do list. I think execution, um, you know, showing the importance of, of, of playing well, I think that's how he'll earn some respect. I don't think you, you, I mean, be a good person, be a good teammate, do the right thing. But I think those types of real, um, you know, that respect is earned <clears throat> a lot more throughout practice and throughout games to her situations and game situations, but on the practice field, in the weight room, how hard does he work? Can people count on him? Those types of things. I think those are observed over time and uh, I think Jaden's done a good job with it. And how different is the the run and shoot that you guys ran at Washington State compared to the one that, that Jaden ran at, at St. Louis? Is it, is it pretty similar or is it, is it kind of a different variation? I of think it? There's more, we're doing more, but um, it's, it's really a way to look at things that I think Jaden uh, feels comfortable with. Um, whether it's manipulation of his own defender, whether it's uh, footwork, I think he had an easier time getting into the, to the drop because he had done similar drops before where some of the guys who were here had to work on it a little bit more. But um, I, it's hard for me to say. I just know that just having the mindset of optional routes um, probably translated well for Jaden. All right, go ahead, Keith Oso. Big Bear. Hey, hey how's it? Big Bear, before you go, his name is Justice Rogers. What, did I say something wrong? I, I, heard, you, I heard you messed something up. That's all right, brother. Did I really? Anybody get um, started? Um, I may have put Winston in there. Um, hey, uh, if you guys had weather like we did today in Spokane, which I assume was similar, uh, a, a healthy dose of local weather today, is there some, one of your quarterback's arms that maybe stands out a little bit more when, when the wind is whipping up and the, and the rain is coming? Uh, I don't necessarily think it's a um, arm strength concern as much as it is, uh, you know, the, the grip. Um, the ability to stay on top of the ball, control the nose, put it where they want it to go. Um, I think it's probably more in um, more of a lower arm 
control rather than just general arm strength. Does one of those seem to have a better grasp of that? Um, I don't know that I concentrated on that very much today, Big Bear, but um, I will keep an eye out for it. <laughs> give me a few days. <laughs> uh, Renard yesterday talked about he feels like this offense fits him better because it allows him to be more himself. Is there some flexibility that you allow for your receivers to maybe adjust routes on the fly? Yeah, I think Bernard could fit in <laughs> almost every offense. He's a very talented young man with not only physical ability, but he, he cares a whole lot. This is very important to him. Um, and wonderful teammate, wonderful member of the community. You know, you get calls on a guy like we've gotten calls on Bernard. You know, you get a call. I just want to talk to you about one of your players. And of course, you start thinking, okay, what, what happened? What did they do wrong? And you know, calls where we just want to tell you that Renard is a wonderful person. He came in, he said, please, thank you. We really enjoyed having him in, whether it's a restaurant or store. And those are the things we really want to uh, multiply throughout the locker room to be a real positive influence on this community. Thank you. Welcome. All right, go ahead, Rob. Hey, Coach, uh, I want to ask you, you another question question about the quarterbacks um, I know a few minutes ago you mentioned that all three have different qualities but when you have three guys competing for one job um, it, are there any characteristics when it comes to the quarterback position that maybe you hold in higher regard when it does come down to naming a starter well I think it comes down to production who, who can lead the team down to the end zone um, with the most consistency um, obviously uh, taking care of the football is going to come into that uh, but it, it really comes down to who is going to be the best at putting the ball in the end zone multiple times over and over again without with, with a limited amount of mistakes. And um, I, I do believe that the big uh, part of playing quarterback, I think it probably goes back to Theo's question, that there are, and, and in the run and shoot, I know, you know the history of it, people have talked a lot about um, whether it's Myers-Briggs, or whether it's other um, personality tests and what line up the quarterbacks best. Um, I don't, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll give the quarterbacks the personality test. And that's not necessarily for them as much as it is for coaching and how they would, how they receive information better, what techniques from the coaching side um, they're able to um, absorb in, in a smoother way. But it is also good for them to know, you know, take the test, talk about it. Okay, this is me. I do like these things. And just having that open communication about who we really are is um, uh, and, uh, it's something we like to do, you know, most years. I don't think that we've gotten to that yet. With stuff. Right. And then uh, obviously there's been a lot of chatter about the quarterbacks, but I wanted to ask you about – the running back position group. Uh, you got a pretty good one in Max Borgie. Um, what's it like just having him in the backfield, knowing that that's a guy who's, you know, had the ball in his hands a lot over the last few years? And um, what kind of weapon can he be in your offense now? Well, probably one of the deeper um, position groups on the team, to be honest. Um, Max is, I mean, all of you know it better than me. He, he's he, he's an uh, incredible player with uh, – I think he really represents the university well also. Uh, other than his, his physical ability, I think he loves football. And, you know, his talent is, is evident. And it's really good to have that on a football team. But you look at a guy like Dion, who maybe have a little bit different skill set, but also is, is very explosive um, and, and, and has some real good speed. Markoff. You know, I don't know who's going to want to tackle that guy. He is a um, better athlete than you think for his body type um, and is, has been a great teammate and is going to help in pass protection for sure. Uh, JoJo's got speed too. So I, I feel like we're, we've got a bunch of guys that can play. Obviously, Max has um, a lot of the production coming back, but it is a deep position for us. All right, Cody from the Evergreen, go ahead. 
Hey, Coach, uh, one of the, the topics kind of brought up with both Justice and Renard yesterday was the idea of these senior players being able to come back. I know it's early uh, for you, but is this something that you've, you've talked about or, or thought about with some of these players? Um, well, obviously, you think about it. It's not something that we emphasize consistently with them. You know, the early on in this process, that was a big concern for especially the seniors, you know, are we going to have a season? Is it going to count? If we opt out, is it going to count? You know, all those conversations. And then when the decision was made that their eligibility would be protected this year, um, I think it kind of, you know, stopped a lot of those uh, conversations because, you know, it, it really settled them in their path forward. Um, we haven't had real one-on-one, -on -one, all right, what are you going to do? I think there's a lot to play out. The guy plays six games and he, got a high NFL grade, he might not come back. I mean, and and I just hope that the communication is open and they trust in us that we will give them our opinion. We can't make them do anything, but, uh, you know, as long as you, you we do what's best for that young man in that situation, uh, I don't think we can, we can make a mistake. And then time for two more, go ahead. Oh, and then yesterday you, you mentioned kind of Joey Hobart as a guy who stood out to you. Uh, was there maybe somebody today that also stood out or, you know, was, was it Hobart again? Um, Joey had a fine day, but um, kind of guy that jumped off to me was Shaw, Shaw Smith. And I'm, I'm going to tell all of you on him, I promised his mom that no one would call him Chow. So don't call him Chow. It's out there, and, and you call him Shaw. I promise his mom that you guys wouldn't screw that up, so don't get me in trouble with his mom. He's a wonderful young man. Uh, a lot of the qualities we talked about yesterday. Um, good athlete, competitive, um, has, has, has shown that he belongs uh, in, in our secondary. And um, he, made a, he made an interception today. You can tell the, the, the defense was um, excited for him. You know, it was a real spark for practice, and uh, I'm very glad to have him in the family. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, last one. Go ahead, Zach from Coop Van. Coach, have you guys discussed um, anything you want to do with the sand pit on Rogers practice field? If you plan to turf over it or maybe put new sand in it for next year? Well, we might keep it for the spring so we could have a, a beach party. But no, we'll probably um, at some point, you know, try to try to maximize that space with some turf so um, we can have more space to, to do some football stuff. But that's not necessarily a uh, high on the totem pole right now as far as things we, we're trying to get done. But uh, I don't even know if that's a, that's a for sure thing yet or not. And was there any motivation behind having the quarterbacks wear black practice jerseys this season? Did you have a conversation with them about switching, or is black something you guys have always done? Um, what color were they last year? Blue. Yeah, because I'm a Giants fan. I don't like the Dodgers. I was trying to get black and orange. But, uh, yeah, that was the motivation. How about that? And that's on. Yeah. I'm baby. Go Giants. Thank mm -hmm. you.